more time. He comes in, one, two, three, four. Okay, from here, if I want to fight this, I'm going to kind of come into this grappling position. So we have an answer for that too. So this is one of the answers. I'm going to double you real quick. One of the answers from here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cup under here because this is going to be my second method under his arm if he does it to me. He's going to cup right here. This is going to be my second method if the first one falls through. I'm going to take my thumb bone. See that? I don't know if it's focused. I'm going to take my thumb bone. I'm going to go to the indention of his ear. I'm going to turn my hand like this. That's all I'm going to do. Watch what happens. So I get this happening here. From there, I'm going to smack. And my smack lands from here to the indention of his form. Let me do it one more time. I'm sorry. So here. Here and it lands right here. I just follow my line off. All this stuff is the comedy of motion. I don't go too, that's too much. Just right to here. I'm gonna curl this. If you let go of me real quick, Gabe. All I'm doing for this Dumag pull is I'm gonna pull this into myself like that's all you're doing. It looks really simple, but watch what happens even from here. How much he goes down. As you saw, one more time. As you saw, I didn't move my shoulders or anything like that. I can pull him to my shoulder. I can pull him to my shoulder. I can pull him to my head, but all that good stuff. And from here, we back up just a little bit. So from here and here, see I turn that, and from here, I'm gonna step in and we're making fall right there, okay? If I let him go, what we do in C-Lot is as I know he's about to fall to the ground, I step here and I know where his head is. And I can come in, kind of field goal kicking, which is really cool. <laughs> all right, that's one. Now, if I can't get this, because he's moving his head, I can't get that. The other way to do that is I'm going to grab under the tricep knee. So if you look at this like a muscle for me, Gabe, boy, strong, isn't it? <laughs> this is what I'm grabbing, this loose skin on the tricep knee, and I'm grabbing like this. And it's, it's, this is dirty tactics, Filipino boxing, guys, dirty tactics. So here, I can't get this. When I do this, it makes his face do what I wanted to do with it earlier. It did the same thing, right? It's the same motion. I smack, come here, down, and then I just shoot in. And I'm right there for that. Okay? Sometimes none of that works because we're moving. He's good. He's, he's, had, he's had at least three MMA classes. He knows what he's doing. He's moving around, right? He has his head in here because he doesn't want to move. So I take my arm and I push forward like that, almost like if you're a Braves fan, you're going to hack that forward, right? So I go like that. Once I do that, I'm going to push the head down and move it over. It gives him an off balance so I swing his equilibrium like that. So I go like that and I swing like that. Now I'm going to indent my elbow so he can't shoot back into my knee. Does that make sense? I have it here, okay? From there we can do different things. But what I'm gonna do from here is I got something called walking the line. So once I go to here, I push and I have that. Walking the line means this. I'm gonna hold here, I'm gonna take this knee, aim for the sternum, and step my foot down forward motion. So as you see this, his body is already pitched downwards. Okay? My second knee is gonna come over this way, and I'm just gonna step forward. I can do that in reverse. I can do that. Hey.